Philip came in cooks and gold by turning woods of his boat to the rack. Yeah, oh, cool, right? yeah, well, it's a young woman called Wade from the ground. His children may have been for swimming. By the way, this track is amazing by this name's called The Streets of the Crown. Still discussing whether these buildings were one or two story, but they all had rooms or cellars below ground level. As we travel through this two roomed house, we can imagine that the floor at the back is being built, and you can see the cellar below where goods are stored. Above this sunken room, the window openings are only small, so as you can see, it would have been quite dark inside these houses. In addition to the hearth, small pottery lamps and wax candles were used to create light so that the people who lived here could carry out their everyday tasks. In this front room, you can see a woman working at the loom, which was used to weave woolen cloth for clothing and blankets. Street, right in the heart of the city of Norway. 
As you can see from these stores, you can buy almost anything. Copper Gate is just one of the many streets in this city, which was home to more than 10,000 people. The streets of the city of Norfolk are covered in filth and mud, rutted by car bags and with potholes around them. This leather worker seems to be having a problem selling his shoe pieces to him. He looks like he has Viking pieces, but do pretend to contract it. You can see it's caused the fingers on his head to become poor. It's a genetic disorder that runs in families and seen particularly in Netherlands men. Tradition has it that it originated with the Vikings who spread it to our northern Europe and beyond as they travelled and intermarried. This couple here had argued about what to have for supper, meat or fish. It would seem that life hasn't changed too much over the last thousand years. They're arguing the old Norse, but if you listen carefully, you can hear Old English, Middle Welsh and Old Irish all being spoken in the street. Here's a food seller trying to sell this wealthy looking woman a cabbage of some sort. It doesn't look like the type of thing that would tempt her or her young lady. This woman looks like she's struggling to cross the road. We only found two complete skeletons in the excavations here, and this woman is based on the wall. You can see that she's walking with a crook due to her hip problems and arthritis. You can find out more about her in the galleries to come. Here, we're in another of the new buildings. The first Vikings who came here were not Christians and worshipped their pagan Norse gods, but they seem to have adopted Christianity quite quickly. There is lots of evidence for there being a Viking era church just behind the copper gate, and there were many other new churches built in Norway at this time. There was a priest administering last rites. He would always have worn a stole around his neck as seen here, as it marked his priestly status. We found a very small, silk, pink coloured liquid pouch in one of the buildings. The embroidered cross on it suggests that it once held holy relics, which have since disappeared and are now a mystery. Each property is separated from the next by woven wattle fences. We know from the five tons of animal bone found in the excavation that the people's diet was quite similar to ours, with lots of beef, pork and mutton, as well as poultry and fish. Supplying this food may have been one of the reasons for the major changes in the countryside we see around Jurassic at this time. In this backyard, animals have been slaughtered to provide meat and other resources. Body parts of cattle must have been a fairly familiar sight and smell around Viking Age yeah. As well as supplying meat, cattle carcasses also provided home and home, both valuable resources for making everyday items. Stomach contents and cow were other byproducts of this slaughter. There must have been loads of flour, breeding and rubbish bits and dumps across the city. The red wall, there on the fence, would have been a regular visitor, scavenging in the city, particularly in the backyard like this. Toilets would also have been situated in the backyard. Pits in this room were clearly used for the There were plenty of human waste, as well as moss, which was a type of bathroom used toilet paper. This man here doesn't look too happy to be disturbed, so perhaps we'd better move on. Here, we are in our final house. In the excavations of Copper, we found a few Viking Age musical instruments, including a set of handpipes which can still be played. Music, saga telling, and poetry must have been important in the Viking War. Iceland and Scandinavia have cultures rich in storytelling, traditions that developed in Viking times. Norse mythology, which conjures up gods and monsters living in nine realms, still captures the imagination today. 
then we can picture what it was like sitting around a hut, enjoying tall tales of magic and bravery.